The name Odisha refers to the current state in India. In different eras the region and parts of the region were known by different names. The boundaries of the region also have varied over the ages. Human history in Odisha begins in the Lower Paleolithic era, as Acheulean tools dating to the period have been discovered in various places in the region. The early history of Odisha can be traced back to the mentions found in ancient texts like the Mahabharata, Maha Govinda Sutta and some Puranas. In 261 BCE, Ashoka of the Mauryan dynasty conquered the region in the Bloody Kalinga War which was fought at the banks of River Daya near present-day Bhubaneswar. The resulting bloodshed and suffering of the war deeply affected Ashoka. He turned into a pacifist and converted to Buddhism. He sent peace emissaries to various neighboring nations. Thus as an indirect consequence, the event caused the spread of Buddhism in Asia. The region was also known to other kingdoms in region of East Indies due to maritime trade relations. The year 1568 CE is considered a pivotal point in the region's history. In 1568 CE, the region was conquered by the armies of the Sultanate of Bengal led by the iconoclast general Kalapahad. The region lost its political identity. The following rulers of the region were more tributary lords than actual kings. After 1751, the Marathas gained control of the region for almost half a decade. In 1803, the region was passed onto the British Empire. The British divided the region into parts of other provinces. In 1936, the province of Odisha was formed on the basis of populations of Odia-speaking people. Topic: <laughs> Historical names of Odisha. The region which comprises the modern-day Odisha was not known by the same name throughout history. It and parts of it were referred by different names in different era. Kalinga, according to some scriptures Mahabharata and some Puranas, a king Bali, the Vairokana, the son of Sutapa, had no sons. So, he requested the sage, Durga Tamas, to bless him with sons. The sage is said to have begotten five sons through his wife, the queen Sudesna. The princes were named Anga, Vanga, Kalinga, Sumha and Pundra. The princes later founded kingdoms named after themselves. The Prince Vanga founded Vanga Kingdom, in the current day region of Bangladesh and part of West Bengal. The Prince Kalinga founded the Kingdom of Kalinga, in the current day region of coastal Odisha, including the northern Sarkars. Ptolemy, Pliny the Elder and Claudius Aelianus have also mentioned one Kalinga in their texts. Utkala, Utkala was a part of Kalinga in some parts of Mahabharata. Karna is mentioned to have conquered Kingdom of Utkala among others. But, according to other texts like Raghuvasma and Brahma Purana, they were separate kingdoms. There are several views regarding the etymology of the name. Utkala may have meant northern Uttara part of Kalinga or Utkalinga. Utkala Desha country or land may have meant the land of finest art, Utkarsha Kala. There are also other arguments regarding the origin of the name. Mahakantara, this name has been found in some Gupta era inscriptions. It literally means great forest and it is usually identified with the modern-day Kalahandi and Jaipur region. The Mahabharata also mentions a Kantara, which may have or may not have referred to the same region. Yudra, Yudra also Urda Desha may have originally referred to an ethnic group or tribe called Yudra. But later may have referred to the kingdom of Yudra, around the coastal region of Odisha. Orda, Odra also Orda Desha similar to Yudra, may have meant a tribe of people called Odra, but later came to refer to the land of Odras. Adhyana, Adhyana, mentioned in some Buddhist texts, according to some scholars may have referred to Odisha. Kamala Mandala, literally, Lotus Region, AC, 13th century inscription found in Narla in Kalahandi refers to the region by this name. South Kosala, South Kosala also Dakshina Kosala may refer to the modern-day Chhattisgarh and some part of western Odisha. It should not be confused with Kosala, which is in current-day Uttar Pradesh. According to Ramayana, one of Rama's sons Lava ruled Uttara Kosala and his other son Kusha ruled over this region. Kongoda, a copper plate found in Ganjam district refers to region as Kongoda also spelled Kangoda. Trikalinga, this name has been found inscribed on some copper plates found in Sunpur. Trikalinga may have literally meant, three Kalingas, and may have referred to the three states of Kalinga, South Kosala and Kangoda. 
Chedi, Chedi also known as Chedarashtra referred to the kingdom of Karavela. It was named after his dynasty, Chedi also Chedi dynasty and Mahamagavahana dynasty. It should not be confused with Chedi kingdom of western India. Tosali, Tosali also spelled Toshali referred to a city and the region around it was called Tosala, possibly a subdivision of Kalinga in Ashoka era. The capital of Tosala has been placed in modern-day Dauli. In later era c. 600 CE, North Tosali, Uttara Tosali and South Tosali, Daskina Tosali have been mentioned, which were possibly kingdoms north and south of the Mahanadi River. Uranshan, the name has been used by some 10th-century Arab geographers. Jajnagar, the name used for Odisha in the Tabakat i Nasiri c. 1260, Tariq i Firuz Shahi c. 1357, and other texts of the period. Odivisa, a name used in some Buddhist texts, including in those by Taranatha. Prehistory 140 million years ago MYA, the peninsular India, including Odisha, was a part of the Gondwana supercontinent. Due to this, some of the oldest rocks in the subcontinent, dating to Precambrian times, are found in Odisha. Some of the rocks, like the Myurvanj granite Pluton, have been dated to 3.09 billion years ago The coal fields in Mahanadi and Ib river basins are known to be one of the richest sites for fossils in the subcontinent. This has led to the discovery of new species, like the caraphytes from the Permian period, which were found in the Talchur region and the upper Permian megaspores from the Ib River area, in the districts of Myurvanj, Kayonjar, Sundargarh, and Sambalpur. Acheulean tools dating to Lower Paleolithic times have been discovered. The Gudahandi Hills in Kalahandi district have rock carvings and paintings dating to Upper Paleolithic. From Kuchai, near Baripada, various Neolithic tools like hoes, chisels, pounders, mace heads, grinding stones and also pieces of pottery. Prehistoric paintings and inscriptions have also been found in Garjandingar in Sundargar district, and Ushakathi in Sambalpur district and Vimkramkal in Jarsaguda district. There has been an uncertainty about the inscriptions at Ushakathi and Vimkramkal regarding whether they are in a proto-Brahmi script. Yogimith near Karayar has cave paintings from the Neolithic. Ancient Odisha Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Ancient Texts According to some scriptures, Mahabharata and some Puranas, a king Bali, the Vairokana and the son of Sutapa, had no sons. So, he requested the sage, Durga Tamas, to bless him with sons. The sage is said to have begotten five sons through his wife, the queen Sudesna. The princes were named Anga, Vanga, Kalinga, Sumha and Pundra. The princes later founded kingdoms named after themselves. The prince Vanga founded Vanga Kingdom, in the current day region of Bangladesh and part of West Bengal. The prince Kalinga founded the kingdom of Kalinga, in the current day region of coastal Odisha, including the North Sirkars. The Mahabharata also mentions Kalinga several more times. Srutayuda, the king of Kalinga, son of Varuna and river Parnasa, had joined the Kaurava camp in the Kurukshetra war. He had been given a divine mace by his father on request of his mother, which protected him as long he wielded it. But, Varuna had warned his son, that using it on a non-combatant will cause the death of the wielder himself. In the frenzy of battle, harried by Arjuna's arrows, he made the mistake of launching it at Krishna, Arjuna's charioteer, who was unarmed. The mace bounced off Krishna and killed Srutayuda. The archer who killed Krishna, Harasavara, and Ekalavya are said to have belonged to the Subar people of Odisha. In the Buddhist text, Mahagavinda Suttanta, Kalinga and its ruler, Satabhu, have been mentioned. In the 6th century Sutrakara, chronicler, Badayana, mentions Kalinga as not yet being influenced by Vedic traditions. He also warns his people from visiting Kalinga, among other kingdoms, saying one who visits it must perform penance. Pre-Mauryan Mahapama Nanda the ruler of Magadha is presumed to have conquered Kalinga during his reign around c. 350 BCE. The Hathagumpha inscriptions mentions the suzerainty of the Nandas in the Kalinga region. 
The inscriptions also mention irrigation projects undertaken by the Nanda kings in the state during their reign, in a sargar, beads and punched coins belonging to an unknown king dating to the pre-Mauryan period have been discovered. Mauryan occupation Further information, Ashoka and Kalinga War Ashoka of the Mauryan dynasty conquered Kalinga in the Bloody Kalinga War in 261 BCE which was the eighth year of his reign. According to his own edicts, the war about one million people were killed, 1,500,000 were captured and several more were affected. The resulting bloodshed and suffering of the war deeply affected Ashoka. He turned into a pacifist and converted to Buddhism. The Kalingans had used personnel from the Atavika region, which was in the west of Kalinga, during the war. According to his edicts, Ashoka conquered the coastal region of Kalinga but didn't try to conquer the Atavika region. The Mauryans governed the Kalinga region as a province. They used Tosali as the regional capital and judiciary center. A Kumara viceroy ruled from Tosali, modern day Dauli. Samapa, modern-day Jagada, was another administrative center. Ashoka erected two edicts in the region, at Jagada and Dauli. <laughs> Caravella In the 1st century BCE, Mahamagavana established the Mahamagavahana dynasty in Kalinga. Caravella was the third ruler of the dynasty. He reigned in the second half of the 1st century BCE. Most of the information about Caravella comes from the Hathagumpha inscription in Udiagiri near Bhubaneswar. The inscription also calls the dynasty as Chedi, also spelled Chedi but it is not the same as the Chedi kingdom of western India. The inscription records his life from his boyhood to his 13th regnal year. Reigning year 1 to 5, Caravella took up the administration after the premature death of his father as a Uvarage heir apparent. He ascended to the throne as a proper king when he came of age at 24, around c. 170 BCE, but the date is contentious by several decades. In the first year of his coronation, he repaired the gates and ramparts of his capital Kalinganagari which had been damaged by storm. In the second year, he invaded the territory of the Satavahana king Satakarni I and marching up to the Kana Bemna River, possibly Krishna River stormed the city of Musicas. In the third year of his reign, he organized various performances of dance and music and delighted the people of the capital. In the fourth year, he again invaded the Satavahana kingdom and extended his political supremacy over the region. In the fifth year he is known to have renovated the aqueduct that was originally excavated 300 years back by the Nandas. Reigning year 6-10, in the sixth year, he remitted taxes and gave benevolences both in urban and rural areas of his kingdom. The account of his seventh year is not known. But that year his chief queen, Queen of Ajiragara, the queen of the Diamond Palace, gave birth to a child. In his eighth regnal year he led a military expedition against Rajagaya Rajagriya. By that time the Yavana Indo-Greeks who were in possession of Mathura were advancing towards Pataliputra. But getting the news of the triumph of Karavela at Rajagriya the Yavana king had to retreat to Mathura. Caravella pursued the Yavana ruler, Demita possibly Demetrius I, and purged them out of Mathura, which was an important seat of Jain religion and culture. In commemoration of this achievement, he built a victory palace in Kalinga at a cost of 3,800,000 painas during the ninth year of his reign. In the tenth regnal year, he again invaded northern India the account of which is not clearly known. Reigning year 11-13, in the eleventh year of his reign, Caravella defeated the Dramira country which had been in existence for 113 years before his time. In the twelfth year, he invaded northern India for the third time and advanced as far as Uttarapatha. On his return, he terrorized Magadha. Bahasatimita Ashunga king, the king of Magadha surrendered and Caravella brought back the statue of Kalinga Jina. Kalinga Jina was the statue of Rishabhanatha, which had been taken away from Kalinga by Mahapamananda 300 years back and its restoration was considered to be a great achievement of Karavela. In his thirteenth reigning year, Karavela excavated a number of cave dwellings in the Kumari hills for the Jain monks and bestowed endowments for them. Jainism greatly flourished in Kalinga under the patronage of Karavela. He was also extending liberal patronage towards other religious communities and earned great reputation as the worshipper of all faiths and the repairers of all temples. 
He also built the caves at Udiagiri and Khandagiri for Jain monks. The record stops at his 13th regnal year. It is presumed that he was succeeded by his son, Kadepasiri. The Mahamagavahana dynasty or a successor Sada dynasty probably continued to rule over Kalinga and Mahishaka as evident from the inscriptions and coins discovered at Guntapalli in Vulpuru, Andhra Pradesh, which mention a series of rulers with the suffix Sada. Kushanas, Satavahanas and Marundas Gotamiputra Satkarni of Satavahana dynasty possibly held some sway over some parts Kalinga. The Kushana Empire may have reached Kalinga or parts of it during the first three centuries of the Common Era, as evident from coins found at several places, in notably in Jagada, Sisupalgar, and Gurubai in Manakapatana, Puri, among others. It should be noted that more imitation coins are found than real ones. So, the local rulers possibly circulated them in the post Kushana period. There is coin of one Maharaja Rajadiraja Dharmadamadhara which has been found in Sisupalgar. There is a Kushana motif on one side and a human head on the other. During the 3rd century, a tribe called Marundas ruled from Pataliputra. They have been speculated to have arrived from Central Asia. They used to issue coins similar to Kushana coins, but other than these mostly numismatic evidences, this period of history is mostly in the dark. Topic: Guptas, Matharas, and Shurabapariyas. In C. 313 BCE, a princess of Kalinga, Hemamala, is recorded to have fled the kingdom with a tooth of Buddha, a sacred relic, hidden in her hair and presented it to King Siramagavana of Sri Lanka. According to the legend, Kima took a tooth from the pyre of Buddha and later gave in to a king, Brahmaduta. He built a temple at a city called Dantapura. After several generations, during the reign the Guhasiva, the prince of Ujjain came to Dantapura to worship the relic. He married the daughter of Guhasiva, Hemamala, and was later called Dantakumara Prince Tooth. When a king attacked Kalinga, Dantakumara and Hemamala fled with the relic to protect it. Samudragupta reigned c. 335 c. 375 CE is presumed to have conquered the region, as in his Allahabad inscription, it has been mentioned that, he had conquered Mahendra of Kosala, Viraraja of Mahakantara, Mantaraja of Kerala, Mahendra of Pishtapura, Svamadatta of Kadara on the hill, Damana of Arandapala, Vishnugopa of Kanchi, Nilaraja of Avamukta, Hastavarman of Vengi, Ugrasena of Palaka, Kubara of Devarashtra, Dhanamjaya of Kusthalapura, and others. Pishtapura modern day is presumed to be the then capital of Kalinga. Mahakantara is presumed to be parts of western Odisha and central India. Kadara is traced to modern day Ganjam district. In post Samudragupta period, a new dynasty called Matharas arose in South Kalinga. They ruled from Pishtapura but also issued copper grants from Simapura. Their kingdom was probably spread from Mahanadi to Godavari. Another dynasty of rulers arose in western Odisha during post Gupta period, they are called Shurabhapuriya dynasty. Not much is known about this dynasty. Everything known about them comes from the inscriptions on copper plates and coins. They may or may not have also been known as the Amararyakula dynasty. This dynasty is supposed to have started by one Saraba, who may have been a feudal chief under the Guptas. They ruled over the modern-day region of Raipur, Balaspur and Kalahandi. Their rule lasted from c. 499 to about 700 CE. <laughs> Eastern Ganga dynasty Indravarman I is assumed to be the earliest known king of the Eastern Ganga dynasty. His Jurjingi grant mentions no predecessors and was issued in his 39th regnal year, c. 537 CE. He had his capital at Dantapura. Another plate found also mentions him defeating a Vishnukundina king called Indra Bhadaraka. Many rulers of this dynasty went by the title Trikalingadipati, literally the Lord of the Three Kalingas. The capital was later shifted to Kalinganagara, later during the reign of Devendravarman I c. 652-682. During this period, c. 639 CE, Xuanzang visited this region, he notes that Buddhism was widely practiced in this region. He mentions the existence of the monastery called Pufajiri. The sites were lost until recently. New excavations have found several Buddhist monuments dating to this period. 
Odisha was conquered by Rajendra Chola I of the Chola dynasty in the early 11th century. The capital was again shifted to Kataka by Anantavarman Chodaganga in 1135. He is said to have started building the Puri Jagannath Temple. The temple was later completed by his successor Anangabhima Deva III. Narasimha Deva I is known to have built the Konark Temple. In 1187, Nisanka Mala who ascended to the throne in Sri Lanka claimed to have descended from Kalinga. He may have born in 1157 in the capital of Kalinga, Sinhapura modern-day Srikakulam, now in Andhra Pradesh. In 1215, an invader from Kalinga, called Kalinga Maga landed in Sri Lanka and had an oppressive reign of 21 years. By the early 12th century, Kalinga had been conquered by Kulathunga Chola I and his general Karanakara Tandaman. The literary work called Kalingathu Purani is written in praise of the invasion. According to the text Tabakat i Nasiri, the ruler of Jajnagar Kalinga began to harass the Luknauti Bengal ruler in 1243. Tural Tughan Khan, the governor of Bengal, advanced against Jajnagar in March 1244. They armies encountered after a month at the frontier fort of Katashin, and the Kalingan army retreated after taking losses. Later, when the army of Khan was having lunch, the Kalingan army flanked them and attacked. The defeated army of Khan then retreated. <inaudible> medieval Odisha Gajapati <inaudible> dynasty <inaudible> 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 The Gajapati dynasty was established by Kapilendra Deva in 1435, after the fall of the last eastern Ganga king, Banudeva IV. The dynasty is also known as a Suryavamsi dynasty. In about 1450, Kapilendra Deva installed his eldest son, Hamira, as the governor of Rajamundri and Kondavidu. Kapilendra Deva managed to spread his kingdom from Ganga in the north to as far as Bidar in the south by 1457. During Kapilendra Deva's reign, Sarala Dasa, the Odia poet, wrote the Odia Mahabharata and his other works. When Kapilendra Deva died in 1467, a civil war occurred to capture the throne, among his sons. In the end, Purushottama Deva succeeded in securing the throne in 1484 by defeating Hamvira. But, during this period significant southern parts of the empire were lost to Saluva Narasimha, the ruler of Vijayanagara. By the time of his death, he had managed to recover some of these territories. He was succeeded by his son, Prataparudra Deva, in 1497. Immediately, he had to face the armies of Aladdin Husayn Shah of Bengal. During his reign, Aladdin Husayn Shah attacked again in 1508, this time the Muslim army marched up to Puri. In 1512 Krishna Deva Raya of the Vijayanagara Empire invaded Kalinga and defeated the forces of the Gajapati Kingdom. In 1522, Kali Qutb Shah of Golconda ousted the Odia army from Krishna Godavari tract. Govinda Vidyadara was a minister under, Gajapati King, Prataparudra Deva. But, he rebelled against him and succeeded in ascending the throne in 1541, after murdering the two sons of Prataparudra Deva. Bhoi dynasty The Bhoi dynasty was founded by Govinda Vidyadara who came to throne in a bloody coup, in 1541. The dynasty was short-lived and during this period the kingdom came under conflict with neighboring kingdoms and reeled with civil wars. First, Raghavanya Chahotre who was the nephew of Govinda Vidyadara, became a rebel. Govinda was succeeded by his son, Chakrapratap, who was an unpopular ruler. After he died in 1557, a minister called Makunda Deva rebelled. He killed the last two Bhoi kings and squashed the rebellion of Raghabanya Chahotre. After that, he declared himself the ruler of Odisha. <laughs> Makunda Deva Makunda Deva also known as Makunda came to throne, in 1559, in a bloody coup. According to the Madala Panji temple records, he was a Shalukya. During this period, Odisha was going through many internal conflicts. Makunda stuck an alliance with Akbar, that he made him a foe of Sulayman Khan Karani, the ruler of Bengal. Sulayman sent his son, Bayezid Khan Karani and his infamous general, Kalapahad, to conquer Odisha, in 1567. 
Makunda met the forces in the north but had to withdraw to stop a rebellion after signing a treaty with the Sultan's son. Makunda was killed in a battle with the rebel forces led by Ramachandra Banya. Ramachandra Banya was a feudal lord under Makunda, who had rebelled. He himself got caught up in the conflict and was murdered by Bayezid. Akbar was preparing for the invasion of Chittor, so he was unable to respond. Kalapahad ran across the kingdom in a plundering spree and destroyed several temples. By end of 1568, Odisha was under the control of Sulayman Khan Karani. During this period, Ramachandra Deva I, who was the son of a general and had been imprisoned by Makunda, escaped from prison and fled to Vizagapatam. Topic. 1568 1568 is considered an important date in the history of Odisha, as Makunda Deva is considered the last independent ruler of Odisha. After 1568, the region saw a steady decline. Odisha was not to be an independent kingdom again. Later in 1920, Odia playwright Ashwini Kumar Ghose wrote a play called Kala Pahada based on the exploits of Kalapahad and the tragic death of Makunda Deva. The play is considered one of the greatest tragedies in Odia literature. Topic: <inaudible> Bengal Karani rule. In 1568, Odisha came under the control of Sulayman Khan Karani of the Karani dynasty, who was the ruler of Sultanate of Bengal. In the Battle of Tukaroy, which took place in modern-day Balasore, Dodd Khan Karani was defeated and retreated deep into Odisha. The battle led to the Treaty of Katak in which Dodd ceded the whole of Bengal and Bihar, retaining only Odisha. The treaty eventually failed after the death of Munam Khan governor of Bengal and Bihar who died at the age of 80. Dodd took the opportunity and invaded Bengal. This led to the Battle of Rajmahal in 1576, where Dodd was defeated and executed. Topic. Mughal rule In 1590, Qutlu Khan Lahani, an officer of Dodd, declared himself independent and assumed the title of Qutlu Shah. Raja Man Singh who was the Mughal governor of Bihar, started an expedition against him. Before facing Man Singh, Qutlu Shah died. Qutlu Khan's son Nasir Khan, after little resistance, accepted Mughal sovereignty and paid homage to Man Singh on 15 August 1590. Nasir Khan was then appointed governor of Odisha and signed a treaty which ceded the region of Puri. Nasir Khan remained faithful to the Mughal Empire for two years but after that he violated the conditions of his treaty by laying siege to the Jagannath Temple of Puri. Man Singh attacked Nasir Khan and decisively defeated him on 18 April 1592 in a battle near the present-day Midnapore town. By 1593, Odisha had passed completely to the Mughal Empire and was a part of Bengal Subha. <laughs> Under Akbar Raja Ramachandra Deva, the king of Kurda, had accepted Akbar's suzerainty. Akbar mostly followed a policy of non-interference in the local chieftain's matters. After Akbar, his son, Jahangir came to power, who followed a different policy. Under him, Odisha was made into a separate subha and a governor, titled Subadar, ruled in the name of the Mughal emperor. <laughs> Under Jahangir Quasim Khan was appointed the governor of Odisha in 1606. During this period, the king of Kurda, Purasadam Deva was attacked by Mughal armies led by Kesho Das. He was defeated, and had to offer his sister and daughter along with dowry to buy peace. In 1611, Kalyan Mal, son of Todar Mal came to be the governor of Odisha. Kalyan Mal also attacked and defeated Purasadam Deva, who had to send his daughter to the Mughal harem. In 1617, Kalyan was recalled to the court. In 1617, Makaram Khan became the governor of Odisha. He also tried to attack Purasadam Deva. But, Purasadam Deva fled from Kurda. In 1621, Ahmad Beg was made the governor of Odisha. Purasadam Deva died in exile in 1622 and was succeeded by his son Narasimha Deva. According to the Madala Panji Temple Chronicles, Prince Shah Jahan had visited Odisha in 1623, which was just after his rebellion. 
Ahmad Beg remained governor until 1628. Topic: <laughs> Under Shah Jahan In 1628, Shah Jahan became the Mughal emperor and Muhammad Bakar Khan was appointed the governor of Odisha. He extended his influence well into the kingdom of Golconda. In 1632, he was recalled. Shah Shuja was appointed by Shah Jahan as the Subadar of Bengal from 1639 until 1660. From 1645 onwards, a deputy of Shuja called Zaman Teherani was the governor of Odisha. Orissa was the first subha imperial top level province added to Akbar's 15 by Shah Jahan. It had Kuttak as seat and bordered Bihar, Bengal and Golconda subhas, as well as the remaining independent and tributary chiefs. In 1647, Narasimha Deva was beheaded by a Mughal general called Fateh Khan. <laughs> Under Aurangzeb In 1658, Shah Jahan took ill and Darashiko took on as the royal regent. This led to a war of succession in which Aurangzeb emerged victorious in 1659. He imprisoned his own father, who later died in 1666. During this period of instability in the Mughal Empire, several chieftains in Odisha had declared independence. Khan i Duran was appointed the governor under Aurangzeb and his reign was from 1660 to 1667. During this period, he crushed several rebel chieftains and subdued Makunda Deva I, the then king of Kurda. Under Murshid Kali Khan In 1707, Aurangzeb died and the control of Mughals over Odisha began to weaken. Murshid Kali Khan was made governor of Odisha in 1714. In 1717, he was also made the Nawab of Bengal. He swore fealty to the Mughal emperor but he was an independent ruler for all purposes. He took several measures to increase revenues and create several new jaggers. In 1727, on his death, his son-in-law, Shuja Ud Din became the Nawab of Bengal. Before that he was a deputy of Murshid in Odisha. During his time, several tracts of land were lost to neighboring kingdoms. <laughs> <laughs> Under Shuja Ud Din In 1727, Taki Khan, the son of Shuja Ud Din, was made the governor. He got engaged in a war with Ramachandra Deva II. Ramachandra Deva II was imprisoned and was converted to Islam. Ramachandra Deva II once visited Puri to see Kar festival. Taki Khan was displeased by this advanced on Kurda and Ramachandra Deva II fled. Bhagarathi Kumar, son of Ramachandra Deva II, was declared king by Taki Khan. Taki Khan died in 1734. During his reign, several Islamic monuments were built in Odisha. His successor, Murshid Kali Khan II, alias Rustam Young, a Naib Nazim deputy governor of Shuja Ud Din, and also his son-in-law, allowed worship in Puri, and he is said to have given his daughter to Ramachandra Deva II in marriage. He installed Padmanava Deva as king of Kurda in 1736, but replaced him by Barakasari Deva, son of Ramachandra Deva II, in 1739. Shuja Ud Din died in 1739 and was replaced by his son, Sarfaraz Khan. Sarfaraz Khan was defeated and killed in the Battle of Giria by Alavardi Khan. Rustam Young marched against Alavardi Khan but he was defeated. Alavardi Khan was not a popular ruler. The Marathas started raiding Alavardi Khan's territory starting in 1742, aided by Rustam Young and his allies. These raids used quick hit and run tactics and were called Bargas. Alavardi Khan unable to check the raids ceded Odisha to Raghoji Bansal I in 1751. During this period, the idols of Jagannatha and other deities were removed from the temple several times, and hidden to save them from iconoclasm. Maratha <inaudible> <inaudible> rule <inaudible> 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 The river Subarnarika served as the border between Bengal and Maratha controlled Odisha. Marathas used to collect a pilgrimage tax at Puri, which was exempt for paupers. In 1803, the British conquered the region during the Second Anglo Maratha War, when most of the Maratha forces were engaged elsewhere.
Topic: <laughs> Colonial Era. Topic: 1600 to 1803. The Portuguese were the first Europeans to build factories in Odisha. They had a settlement in Pipili in Balasore district. The British had established a settlement in Haraharpur modern-day Jagatsingpur, with the permission of the Mughal administrator, as early as 1633 to trade cotton goods. But it could not be maintained long because of the harsh climate, and Portuguese and Arakanese pirates. In 1765, Lord Clive acquired the Diwani of Bengal, Bihar and Odisha from titular Mughal Emperor, Shah Alam II. But, only the Midnapore district was meant by Odisha, as rest of it had passed on to the Marathas. Lord Clive had tried to negotiate the acquisition of Odisha from the Marathas. His successor, Warren Hastings, had also tried negotiating with the Marathas. Topic. 1803–1900 A Colonel Harcourt of the British Army sailed from northern Sirkars on 3 August 1803 and landed on 25 August. He marched from Ganjam with 5,000 men on 8 September, to flush the Marathas out of the region. On 18 September, Harcourt took control of Puri. On 21 September, a second force had landed at Balasore and after taking control of the region, it sent reinforcements to Cuttack to help with the siege of the fort. On 14 October, the fort of Barbati was stormed and captured. On 17 December 1803, Raghoji II Bonsal of Nagpur signed the Treaty of Diogayan also Diogar in Odisha with the British after the Battle of Laswari and gave up the province of Cuttack, which included Mughalbandi, the coastal part of Odisha, Garjat, the princely states of western Odisha, Balasore port, and parts of Midnapore district of West Bengal, Jaya Krushna Rajguru Mahapatra, known to the people as J.E. Rajguru, the royal precept to Mukunda Dev II, who was a minor, mobilized an army of Pika warriors and raised a revolt against the British in 1804. This is the first uprising against the British rule in Orissa. The Britishers, ultimately with the help of some treacherous natives, ruthlessly suppressed the rebellion. Both J. E. Rajguru and the Raja were made prisoners. Later, J. E. Rajguru was convicted and on 6 December 1806 hanged heinously by his legs tied to two different branches of banyan tree and released to tear him to two parts at Midnapore. The Raja was released in 1807 since J. E. Rajguru had taken the entire responsibility of the uprising on him. Thus, J. E. Rajguru is said to be the first martyr of the early freedom struggle against British rule. His sacrifice, however, did not go in vain. It laid the foundation of a major revolt 13 years after his martyrdom. In 1817, the British had to suppress the Pika rebellion. The Pika were a landed militia who were exempted from taxes in lieu of their services. They were dissatisfied with the new British land laws and were led by Bakshi Jagabandhu, a commander of the King of Kurda. Surendra Sai from Sambalpur region had started a rebellion against the British in 1827. During the Indian Rebellion of 1857, the princes of Odisha did not join the wars. In 1866, Odisha was struck with a great famine, called Na Anka Dervikya literally the nine-number famine locally. The death toll has been estimated to be about one million spread across different regions. During the famine, Babu Bichitrananda Das and Gauri Shankar Roy decided to publish a magazine in Odia. The first issue of Utakala Deepika appeared on 4 August 1866 from the newly Cuttack printing press. It dealt with issue of famine. Though Christian missionaries had established a printing press in Cuttack in 1838, this was the first independent publication in Odia. In 1870, Madhusudan Das became the first person from Odisha to acquire a graduate degree. He had completed his Bachelor of Arts from Calcutta University and later went on to acquire a Master of Arts from the same university in 1873. He also acquired a law degree in 1878. He went on to become one of the foremost leaders from the state. After Madhusudan Das returned from Calcutta to Cuttack in 1881, the Utkal Sabha was formed in 1882. It marked the beginning of political activities in Odisha. In 1888, a durbar was held in Cuttack during the visit of Lieutenant Governor of Bengal, where the Utkal Sabha led by Gauri Shankar Roy presented the issue of bringing Odia-speaking territories under one administration. Topic: 
1900 to 1947. In 1903, the Utkal Union Conference was founded. In 1911, Odisha and Bihar were separated from Bengal province to form a new single province. In 1912, the Orissa Tenancy Act was introduced the Bihar Orissa Legislative Assembly. The previous Bengal Tenancy Act of 1885 was considered ill-suited for the conditions of the region. On 12 September 1913, the Orissa Tenancy Act was passed, securing better rights and treatment for Rios in the region. In 1913, Sashibusan Rath began publishing the first Odia daily newspaper, Asha, from Burhampur. Gopabandhu Das was the editor and wrote its editorials until 1919. In 1915, Gopabandhu Das began publishing a magazine called Satyabadi, to promote Odia literature and culture. On 4 October 1919, he started his own weekly newspaper, Samaja. In 1914, the revolutionary Bhaga Jatin moved to a hideout in Kaptapada village in Mayurvanj. On 9 September 1915, Bhaga Jatin and his companions were discovered by the British and it resulted in a 75 minutes gunfight. On 10 September 1915, Bhaga Jatin died of bullet wounds at the Balasore Hospital. In 1885, Indian National Congress was founded. In 1920, it adopted reorganization of provinces according to linguistic basis as one its agendas. This inspired many leaders in Odisha to form an Odisha Congress Committee and demand a separate province for the Odia speaking population. In 1923, the Bhubanananda Odisha School of Engineering was established in Cuttack. It was the first technical diploma institution in the region. In 1927, the districts of Cuttack and Balasore were hit by abnormal floods for the third successive year. About 28,756 families were affected by the floods according to the government report. On 6 April 1930, a group of volunteers marched from Cuttack to Inchudi in Balasore. On 12 April, they defied the British salt tax law by making salt. On 1 April 1936, Odisha was granted the status of a separate province. Odisha Day is celebrated locally every year on 1 April to mark the day. In 1936, Odisha has six districts, Cuttack, Puri, Balasore, Ganjam, Koraput, and Sambalpur. On the 11th of October 1938, Baji Raut, a ferry boy of 12 years, was shot dead by policemen in Denkanal district, when he refused to ferry them across the river. In 1943, the Utkal University was founded. In March 1946, the foundation stone for the Hirakud Dam was laid by the governor of Odisha, Sir Hawthorne Lewis. Also in 1946, the Central Rice Research Institute CRRI was established in Cuttack to prevent occurrences like the Bengal famine of 1943. On 22 July 1947, Biju Patnaik rescued the Indonesian Prime Minister Sutan Sharir and Vice President Mohamed Hatta from behind Dutch lines and flew them to Singapore in a Douglas C-47 Skytrain, disguised as crew members. They reached India on 24 July. Post-independence Topic: 1947–2000 On 27 May 1947, Harakrishna Mahatab took oath to form a Congress ministry. In 1946, it was decided that Bhubaneswar would replace Cuttack as the political capital of the state of Odisha. A year after India gained its independence from Britain, the task of designing had been granted to the German architect Otto Konigsberger. Also in 1948, construction on the Hiraku Dam began. By 1949, the 24 princely states had been integrated and Odisha had 13 districts, Cuttack, Puri, Balasore, Ganjam, Koraput, Sambalpur, Denkanal, Sundargarh, Kayonjar, Balangarpatna, Bud Kandamal, Mayurvanj and Kalahandi. On 12 May 1950, Mahatab resigned to join the Cabinet of India. Nabakrushna Chaudhary took over as the Chief Minister the same day. In 1951, Biju Patnaik made a donation to the UNESCO to establish the Kalinga Prize. It has been awarded every year since 1952 to people who have contributed to the popularization of science. On 12 February 1952, Nabakrushna Chaudhary took oath as the Chief Minister after the 1951 Assembly polls. 
In 1953, the 66 metres high and 25.4 km long Hiraku Dam was completed. In 1953, the Rorkela steel plant was planned to be built in collaboration with a West German consortium. On 19 October 1956, Nabakrushna Chaudhary resigned and Mahatab became the chief minister. In 1956, the first technical degree institution in the region, University College of Engineering, was established in Birla presently it is known as Veer Surendra Sai University of Technology. In 1957, the Odisha Sahitya Academy was established to develop and promote Odia language and literature. On 13 January 1957, Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru officially inaugurated the Hiraku Dam. The 1957 assembly polls were also won by the Congress Party and on 6 April 1957 Harakrushna Mahatab took oath as the Chief Minister. On the 22nd of May 1959, a coalition of Congress and Gantantra Parishad formed the government. On 21 February 1961, the coalition collapsed. On 25 February, President's rule was imposed on the state. On 12 February 1961, the new building of the Legislative Assembly of Odisha was inaugurated by Sarvpali Radhakrishnan then Vice President of India. On 15 August 1961, the Regional Engineering College, Rorkela was founded. The mid-term polls were held in 1961 and Biju Patnaik formed a ministry on 23 June 1961. On 3 January 1962, the foundation stone of the Paradip port was laid by Prime Minister Nehru. On 18 April 1966, it was declared the eighth major port of India. Also in 1962, the Balamela Reservoir project was started. In August 1963, the Kamaraj plan was formulated and Biju Patnaik was among the chief ministers to resign. After him, Biran Mitra became the chief minister. In April 1964, a Hindustan Aeronautics Limited plant was set up in Sunabita to manufacture Tumansky R11 F2 engines for MiG-21 FLs. In 1966, Mahatab left Indian National Congress to form a new party called the Jana Congress. After the 1967 assembly polls, Rajendra Narayan Singh Deo became the chief minister of a coalition government consisting of the Swatantra Party and the Orissa Jana Congress. In 1971 assembly poll, the government was formed by a coalition of Utkal Congress, Swatantra Party, and All India Jharkhand Party, with Biswanath Das as the chief minister. On 14 June 1972, Nandini Satpathy became the chief minister of Odisha, heading a Congress ministry. On 1 March 1973, Chief Minister Nandini Satpathy resigned. In February 1974, mid-term polls were held. On 6 March 1974, Nandini Satpathy formed her second ministry. On 19 December 1976, Nandini Satpathy resigned again. She was replaced by Banayak Acharya who remained in office for four months. In 1977, Nilamani Rotre became the chief minister after the assembly poll, and Janata Party remained in power until 1980. The 1980 assembly poll resulted in Janaki Balab Patnaik, of Indian National Congress, as the chief minister. In 1981, Nalco was founded with the collaboration of the Pechini Company of France. It was headquartered in Bhubaneswar. On 30 October 1984, Indira Gandhi was in Bhubaneswar giving a speech. The next day she was assassinated. In 1985, Janaki Balab Patnaik was re-elected as the chief minister. Satchidananda Rotre, Odia poet and novelist, received the Jnanpith Award for his contributions to modern Odia poetry. On the 22nd of May 1989, the Agni I was tested fired at Chandipur. On 6 December 1989, Janaki Balab Patnaik resigned as the chief minister and on 7 December Hemananda Biswal was sworn in. On 16 December 1989, Robbie Ray becomes the Speaker of Lok Sabha and he held the position until 9 July 1991. In 1990, Ranganath Misra became the 21st Chief Justice of India. In 1990, the Assembly polls were won by the Janata Dal and a government was formed under the leader of Biju Patnaik. In 1992, four new districts were created, Gajapati, Malkangiri, Rayagada and Nabarangpur. In 1993, ten more districts were created, Kurda, Nyagar, Sunpur, Bargar, Kendrapara, Jagatsingpur, Jajpur, Nuapada, Angle and Bhadrak. 
In 1994, three more were craved out, Jarsaguda, Diogar and Bude. This brought the number of districts in Odisha to 30. In 1993, Ranganath Misra became the first chairman of the National Human Rights Commission of India. The 1995 assembly polls were won by the Indian National Congress and Janaki Balab Patnaik became the chief minister. On the 22nd of January 1999, Australian missionary Graham Staines and his two sons were murdered. Staines was an Australian Christian missionary who, along with his two sons Philip age 10 and Timothy age 6, was burnt to death by a gang while sleeping in his station wagon at Manaharpur village in Kayonjar district in Odisha, India on 23 January 1999. In 2003, a Bairung Dal activist, Dara Singh, was convicted of leading the gang that murdered Graham Staines and his sons, and was sentenced to life in prison. Soon afterwards, Janaki Balab Patnaik resigned and was replaced by Giridhar Gamang. In October 1999, a cyclone struck Odisha causing economic loss estimated at $2.5 billion United States dollars and about 10,000 deaths. In December 1999, Gamang also resigned. He was replaced by Hemananda Biswal on 7 December. In March 2000, Naveen Patnaik became the chief minister of a BJD-BJP alliance government. Topic: 2001 present. On the 20th of February 2014, the Odia language was given the status of a classical language of India, making it the sixth language to have the status. See also Historic sites in Odisha Maritime history of Odisha List of rulers of Odisha <laughs>